Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. Just wanted to do a quick video today to show people a in development video for the Pow Kitty RGB 20S. It's one of those, uh, I mean the design is interesting. I like the, the smiley face here. And the buttons feel decent too. It is a uh, RK3326 device. So it's not going to, it's, I mean, it falls in line with a lot of other devices that have been previously developed. However, the design is very interesting, as well as the, the vertical. It is very nice in its own way. It's got some interesting quirks as well. Like it, uh, when you have it plugged into the Wi-Fi, you can hear noise through the speaker. That's one very interesting quirk. I need to remove that. You need to enable this when you boot the device to be able to use SSH or SFTP. You run fixed permissions after a OTA update, which I've also enabled here, so you get uh, OTA once I release the build. Shout out to Christian Haitian as well for his help with this particular build. He's not going to be supporting or releasing ArcOS for it, but he, I am doing it with Retro Arena. I'm going to start back here and give you guys a quick look at the systems on the device. All right. RetroArch is the latest version. I'd say I'm about 85% finished what I got to do. One of the biggest issues that stands out to me is it doesn't like SanDisk or Samsung SD cards. Anything that's reasonably, I mean, high speed, it just doesn't like it. I've used uh, Kingston and Lexar cards. Those work. Uh, the Patriot cards that I tried worked. The Toshiba ones, the ones that come from Anbernic, those all work. But it has a problem with a lot of Samsung and SanDisk cards. Also, these LCD games are not working. After I mean, they're only on my personal build on the SD2. So that's what I've got so far. That's what's going to be in this build. Like I said, there's a few more things I got to do. I got to deal with uh, the not liking certain SD cards, and. Um, just a couple other bugs that I'm having problems with. Other than that, though, this video is just meant to be real quick to show you guys that I'm working on this. It, it is an interesting device, like I said, because of the fact that it's vertical and because I just kind of like this face, especially when I've added these orange ears here. But yeah, that's about it for this video. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.